If Russell Brand truly values democracy and freedom, he should consider voting for Donald Trump over Joe Biden. Brand's critique of Trump suggests that the political and media landscape vilifies him, promoting censorship, sowing division, and mimicking some of Trump's policies. In a straight choice between Donald Trump and Joe Biden, if you care about democracy, if you care about freedom, I don't know how you can do anything other than vote for Donald Trump for precisely the reasons that they claim that you can't vote for Donald Trump. They act as if a vote for Donald Trump is almost like you're directly voting for Armageddon. Like you see hysterical performances outside of courtrooms, endless MSNBC bombast. But I'm starting to think that, no, a greater threat to democracy is this kind of technological feudalism that tells you that it cares about you and it's protecting vulnerable people. All the while increasing censorship, increasing the funding of wars, increasing the division between ordinary Americans. Brand emphasizes the importance of free speech expressing strong disapproval of what he sees as censorship on social media and in mainstream media. His fears of technological feudalism and increasing censorship echo widespread worries that liberal institutions and big corporations are stifling freedom of expression. The idea that the media curtails free speech while branding Trump as a threat to democracy strikes a chord with those who believe the media silences dissenting voices. Brand's assertion that the administration is ramping up the war budget and creating division among Americans reflects public anxiety about excessive government interference and ongoing conflicts. His stance advocates for minimal government involvement and criticizes policies that, in his view, deepen societal rifts. The belief that Trump's legal troubles stem from a politicized legal system aligns with conservative views that justice is being compromised for political gain, eroding the principles of fairness and justice. 